I'm Aaron Hall, a business attorney in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I represent employers in drafting severance agreements and employees in considering whether to sign a severance agreement. Sometimes a severance agreement is called a separation agreement. Essentially the same thing, just a slightly different title. The idea is that an employee is no longer working in the company and the company is interested in paying the employee something in exchange for releasing any claims the employee might have against the company. Sometimes it's a mutual release where the company is releasing the employee and vice versa. Sometimes it is just the employee releasing the company. So that's an important item to notice if you're looking at a severance agreement. When I meet with employees who are thinking about signing a severance agreement, I asked them a few questions. First off, were they a witness to any illegal acts in the company? Were they a whistleblower? Because we want to figure out here, was there some reason they shouldn't have been able to be discharged? Maybe this was some sort of retribution or retaliation for blowing the whistle on illegal activities within the business. So that's one thing we want to explore. Second, is there any sort of unlawful discrimination occurring here? Maybe it's discrimination on the basis of age. A person is getting senior in years, and so they're being terminated in order to make room for younger workers. Maybe it's based on some other protected class. Next, I want to know, why were you terminated? What was the reason behind it? Now, employers in states like Minnesota, where we are at will, can terminate somebody for any reason at all, as long as it's not an unlawful reason. And so unlawful reasons would be illegal discrimination, terminating somebody as retaliation for them blowing the whistle on your illegal acts. Uh, and then there, there are some other categories as well, reasons you can't terminate somebody. But you can terminate somebody because they're not doing their job. Um, they use profanity. They showed up late. There are all sorts of reasons you can terminate somebody, including no reason at all. Now, that can't be a guise for some unlawful reason. But this gives you an idea on the types of things we're looking at because by signing a severance agreement, you are agreeing to waive any legal recourse you might have against that company. We want to make sure that your wages are paid out, including any commissions or bonuses that you might be due. We want to make sure that uh, there are any other lingering issues between the company are resolved and make sure that uh, if you are owed anything for legal claims, that gets settled. These are the reasons that we'll look at in a severance agreement or the economic factors that we'll look at. And then when I analyze a severance agreement, I simply make sure that the person signing it understands each of the provisions and has somebody looking out for their best interest so that you as an employee know what am I signing away and what am I getting in exchange for it. So if you're looking at signing a severance agreement or a separation agreement, again, same thing, feel free to uh, see below for additional resources and a link on my website uh, explaining a little bit more information on severance and separation agreements in Minnesota. I'm Aaron Hall, an attorney in Minneapolis, Minnesota.